This is William Nicole Drive in Johannesburg. And like many other South African roads, motorists have experienced severe congestion. These longer than usual delays are due to, you guessed it, load shedding. As load shedding and the power crisis in South Africa worsens, blacked out robots are now a new norm. But these guys want to help alleviate the congestion and motorist frustration. Yeah, the, the little that they give us, we, we make a living out of it. Because majority of us, you can see here, we hardly have occupation. So with us calling the, the cars, the traffic in the road, it's basically helping, helping the community. It's part of community service at the same time as part occupation because it's also helping us. You know, it's like a hand for a hand type thing. Ndruvu explains it can be a thankless job. We get worse, worse issues. We get sweated, we get casted, we get accused over issues like Robert L. Sevens. And we don't know what happened to it. But the only thing we saw with okay, there's a robot that's not working and the guys of outsurance are not coming to do their work, so we're doing it for them. Until they get here and then they leave, we're still here. That's what we do. A couple of incidents that we've been through have been hit by a car. Some people don't listen, you get spit at, some throw some things at you, you know. Some would tell you, I won't even give you anything. In recent weeks, Power Utility ESCOM announced that South Africans might face permanent stage 2 and 3 load shedding for the next two years. More blackouts mean more traffic officers will be needed on the ground. Johannesburg Metro Police spokesperson Kolani Fisa says they have not been immune to the effects of load shedding. No, definitely uh, load shedding has had a great impact, but I'd also say that it's not only load shedding, but also through vandalism of traffic lights and also cable theft, which have left a lot of traffic lights within uh, the city of Johannesburg, either malfunctioning or not functioning at all. But uh, last year, the department took an initiative to ensure that uh, officers are deployed at critical intersections, and an instruction was issued that all Metro Police officers should be controlling traffic during peak hour periods. And that's between uh, 6 and 9 in the morning and between 3 and 6 in the afternoon. Now, even with that, unfortunately, we can't have uh, officers at every corner, at every intersection within the city of Johannesburg. Uh, our core mandate as the Johannesburg Metropolitan Police Department uh, is crime prevention, traffic management and bylaw enforcement. So officers do have other responsibilities. Despite this, he says JMPD is against using informal traffic controllers and urge motorists to stop giving them incentives. Uh, what do, ideally would say that uh, uh, don't abide with these uh, people uh, controlling traffic. Uh, we do get numerous complaints from uh, motorists who are complaining seeing these people on the road and controlling traffic. But other members of public do uh, obey their instructions and uh, move through those uh, uh, intersections. But uh, it is a danger, and if you do come across that uh, situation, we advise that you do take the utmost caution. And if it is safe for you to cross that intersection, do so, but do it in a cautious manner. Fisha says formal procedures are being implemented to recruit more traffic officers, and anyone interested should apply. Uh, currently, there aren't any openings, uh, but we are looking into the fact of training uh, uh, some of these people. But uh, we do find that most of these people are either homeless or, or vagrant people. And when we do uh, approach them at intersections, when they see us, they run away because they do know that what they're doing is, is wrong. But uh, we are open to having uh, people come forward. Uh, we can train them. I was hoping that the government would maybe consume some of us into some kind of occupation because we're doing this like every day, you know. That's what I was hoping it would happen. Has, has, the, has GMPD 
you or everybody come on and are you willing to absorb into this line of work? Yo, 100%. That's occupation, bear in mind. The reason you see in us around here, we don't have occupation. Hence, the little that they hand to us, it helps us survive. Though it's not much, in a day you might live with 70 rand, 80 rand, it's not bad, you know. It's better than going out there and trying to rob somebody, you know. This is like basically on another, on another way of reducing crime activities. Motorists, meanwhile, have thanked them for their service. So basically, there's not enough um, traffic officers on the road um, to assist with traffic when it comes to load shedding. So these informal traffic controllers assist us greatly because even with the potholes on the road, they're able to cover them just to make driving smooth for all the drivers. So um, they are playing an important role in the community because there is a lack of traffic officers. For their purpose is to reduce the traffic in order the motorists to, to like to, to build to, so that they can be a flow, you understand? Which is, they are good those guys anyway. Because of sometime we find out or if they are not there, the traffic will be, co will be more congested and then there's no way you're in, in, in. And sometimes accident happened there. Because of there's a lot of congestion, everyone wanna pass. But then if those guys are there, then the difference is there.